Novgorod Codex was palimpsest text. It's a book that's made from three different wooden tablets and originally had three different psalms carved into it. And then in the Middle Ages, this monk wrote dozens of times over these psalms. You have layers of different texts superimposed on top of one another. These visions of the apocalypse, bitter, caustic sermons that he gave, and the alphabet of the language in this book. What I'm doing is taking fragments of hymns that would have been used in the Benokarad Codex and then putting them in a more contemporary musical sound world. So that we're always teetering on the edge of feeling like, is this ancient or is this now? exciting about this piece is it was clear that all the levels of listening that you need to have a really good relationship between a composer and, and an ensemble were activated in the book. It really energized us in a lot of interesting ways because he took the source material and he extracted the essence of the kind of feel to create a whole new world. And yet somewhere there's this seed of origin, there's religion and you know sacredness and truth and someone trying to hold on to their owns, you know, integrity. And I heard this very particular kind of question asking about who has the voice and how are they using it. Here was someone at the dawn of a millennium who was desperately trying to hold on to the traditions of his people and at the same time move them into a future that he couldn't predict. There's something about the way that this moment is like that. There are a lot of us who want to set the world on fire right now. How do we move on and just be people rather than symbols of something that is never going to be resolved? Yeah.